What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a field trip back to the drag strip and we're going to check out all the bikes. See, last time we went to the drag strip, we didn't really know what to focus on. So we ended up kind of just focusing on burnouts. All the dragsters, the hot rods, going fast, the loud noises, and we completely overlooked the bikes. So shortly after posting the video, I was kind of called out by one of the racers, not in a bad way. He was just curious why I didn't really focus any attention on bikes at all. And I really didn't have an answer because I didn't know why. I love bikes. Why didn't I? So this time when I went, I made sure to focus a lot on the bikes. The reason there weren't a whole lot of bikes in the first video is because I didn't really know what I was looking for. I was still new to motorsports. I was still new to going to the drag strip. It was my first time there, my first time at any drag strip. And I was just kind of trying to find my place, I guess you could say. So that's why there weren't really any bikes. Now, there are a lot of bikes in this video. Matter of fact, this one's all about the bikes. I just want to jump in here real quick and switch gears and remind you to subscribe if you like the content. And remember to leave a thumbs up and a comment below. I really appreciate it. Now back to the video. So let me tell you a little bit about the drag bikes. A lot of them look street legal. They probably are. There's a lot of Harleys, a lot of the Kawasaki's and Suzuki's and, and things like that, the Hondas. And then there were the dragster bikes, the ones with the, the, the bars in the back so they don't flip over. There's this one bike, man, I, I love it. It's like red and silver or red and white and it's just sleek and it's, just, it's, it's sexy, man. I love it, it's amazing looking. Going this second time, I had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. More fun this time than I had the first time. And some of that I'll touch on in the next video, but for now, let's just say that the experience was different. The first time I was kinda, I felt like I was in everyone's way and I was trying to move. I didn't know how things worked. Uh, I just knew that I had a bright vest on. I looked like a crossing guard so people would see me. This time, I again, wore the, the crossing guard outfit, but I felt more comfortable. It was actually really, really fun. I had a blast this time. It was, it was less stress on where should I be? Where should I stand? What type of photos should I get? And it was just more about, hey, I'm here. Let's make the best of it and have a good time. And we ended up staying longer than we did last time. We took more photos than we did last time. 
And uh, I think it's safe to say that, at least for myself, I had a lot more fun than I did last time. So right now I wanna thank all the staff of Top Gun Raceway. I, I mean all the staff, from the front gate to the guy who cleans the bathrooms. Everybody there does such a phenomenal job making you feel comfortable, uh, treating the, the, the spectators with respect, treating everyone with respect, greeting you at the gate. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're having a nice day. I mean, it was, it was so cool. Uh, you don't get that every day. You, you go to an amusement park and people are just like, $20, you know, they're not like that here. It was actually really, really cool. And if you'd like to pick up any of the photos that I took on this trip, you can find them at my web store, which is payhip.com slash Jeff Gresham Photography. All the pictures are on sale for $10, so pick one up or two. So I think that's gonna do it for today. But before I go, remember, when you go to a raceway, a drag strip, there's more than just dragsters and hot rods. There's motorcycles, and some of those motorcycles are supremely just badass. So make sure you talk to the people that drive stop by look at the bikes look at the cars everybody is super cool they'll be more than willing to show you around their vehicles so just keep that in mind and until next time i will see you guys in the next video